Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the view of us, I, um, I've got a video for you. Yeah, No Man's Sky video, and we're looking at those boosted slots. Now, this is over on the experimental branch version of No Man's Sky. Now, if you want to know how to get your PC version over to the experimental, i done a video on that the other day. I put it in the top right-hand corner. Go hit that up, and that's how you can get on the experimental branch. Obviously, if you're on consoles, you're not going to be able to do that. But anyhow, at the moment, this is only on experimental branch but it will be coming to all the other versions fairly soon i'm hoping early part of this week but we would have to wait and see so over on experimental it's 1510 is when they put this up i'll put a link in the video description so you can read all about it but basically we're given boosted slots and i'll jump into game and show you exactly what that means and i'm in game right now so Yesterday, I didn't have many upgrade modules. You may have just sneakily seen there that I've got a shed load here. Some are for multi-tool, some are for ship. Now, here's my boosted slots. I was very lucky to have all three clustered together. Now, what I'm thinking is maybe go with my, uh, you know, I could go with that at the moment, which is the phase beam. So if I was to install some more face beams into there, so this one's phase beam, let's see how much we can push it up by. So that's not actually doing anything there, because the phase beams really, they don't do a lot of damage when it comes to damage potential, do they? So there you go, look, that you didn't see anything get boosted there. But when you hover over, you are going to see that they're heavily boosted stats. But if I just move this over here for a moment, and let's just put it there, and let's just move these out the way. Cool. Now, if I go for a weapon that I know we can boost by a dramatic amount, so if we go, say, for the... Positron Ejector. Uh, oh no, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I thought I got the right one. I'm fairly sure I did. Ah, oh, for fudge's sake. Darn it! And blast it! I'm sure I did. Oh well, Pulse Spitter, that's for my actual uh, multi tool, isn't it? I thought I got the Positron Ejector as well for the Starship, but obviously I haven't. So I've got that, and yeah, I haven't got another weapon that's going to boost the actual damage potential up all that far. So you know what? Let's go for the warp engines instead. So let's see if we can put the hyperdrive through the frickin' roof, shall we, people? So there you go, that's the Idiom Drive, which is just a booster. Now, if I put all my S Class modules in there, that should really welly up the hyperdrive range. So let's put them in. Boom. <laughs> four, oh four, seven, thinking heck. Okay, and this is a fighter, so that's put it over a one. That's put it over a thousand. It's freaking mental. There we go. I mean, you can sort of move these around a little. So if I put that up there and then put that into there, does that make any difference? No, that's worse. So yeah, just have a little shuffle, have a little play. But I'm fairly sure you're going to be able to get this to look pretty darn swanky. Let's move that up there and then that into there. Has that done the trick? Mm, I think that's slightly better, maybe? But there we go. That's boosted that, which is pretty darn freaking nice. I thought I, pulled, I picked up a photon cannon as well. I, I think I have. Uh, and that's photon cannon, so I can put that in there, which is an X-Class. But that's not boosted. That's just normal. Now, the X-Class modules you can get from scrap vendors, or you can buy in pirate systems of space. And you can also get them from the, um, the guys that land on planets every now and again. I've got, like, a, a pulse engine there, so I might as well stick that there. I, I can upgrade these pulse engines, but these are not boosted. None of these are boosted. So you can still get pretty decent ships on doing all this sort of shenanigans. But it, you know, it's probably not going to give you the boosted stats like we had before, Waypoint. But it's getting close. It's it's really quite cool. And I love the way that we've got these, these S-class, S well, these boosted sort of slots, whatever you put in there. So it really does play into your configuration. And I was just really lucky to get all those together. Oh, okay. Well, that's... Um, I should have really put all the Starship ones inside my Starship and all the others inside of the others. But we, we live and learn. Is that the Starship shield modules? Yes, it is. We might as well finish upgrading the Starship. Man, we will stick these into there. I mean, this is just a creative throwaway save. So I'm not going to town on this. I'm just putting things where I think they should be. Okay, so I think that's about good. The only thing is, if I put that one in there, I think it's going to break the tech. You see? So we used to be able to put in three in inside of our actual technology area and then we could put more inside of our um, cargo area previously but that's not a thing any longer 
Right, so over on my exosuit, I only have one boosted slot right now. And to uncover the rest, I'm going to have to install all the technology in this top area here, which means go into a load of drop pods, which I just haven't done. So the only thing that I really want to boost here is my rocket boots, my movements. So if I put that there, if I was to put that there for a second, if I just go back over to my starship, I have got a movement module, an S-Class one. Let's chuck that on there. The only thing is, you can't see the stats of your exosuit, so you can't really tell if what you've done Done, has actually done anything which I think they're missing a trick there they really do need to have the stats over here in my opinion and I hope they bring that in in a future iteration but let's just get in some other movement modules so I'm not moving like a freaking slug in taffy because that's really blinking annoying what I would be nice is if you know the actual boosted slots it'd be nice if it boosted everything that was touching you know I, well at least i think it would let's get rid of that one because that's not an s class and we'll put that one there and have i got an extra bit of tech that i can put in there that's not the one underwater is it no that's cool then so i put that in there lovely jobs that should give me a bit of extra movement and i've also got a couple of life support modules that i can chuck in there as well just for good measure um, not that i need it because it's freaking creative mode but you know <laughs> imagine there's numbers going up on your screen right now people yeah it would be nice to see the stats like i say now i've noticed something extremely odd about my freighter my freighter oh it's got them now it didn't have those earlier <laughs> for fudge sake so i've got an a class okay now it didn't it when i actually got it it actually showed a couple of these when i went to upgrade it in the terminal i fully upgraded all the slots and then when i came out of it and went back into this menu those slots weren't there it looks like i had to come out of the game completely go back in for those two slots to appear so if for whatever reason you're missing your boosted slots inside of your freighter i strongly suggest doing that i mean i haven't got many modules for this so let's just see if we can try and boost through adjacency our warp fuel there, our warp signature there so yeah i managed to get the warp drive to go up quite massively just by sort of shuffling those around to touch my oh no look there's another one over there so there are three there at the moment if i could get a couple more warp um sort of modules going along there i should be all right but to get those to get your actual freighter modules you're going to have to do sort of like derelict freighter runs or send out frigate missions to get some of those to come in so yeah we're not going to be getting those for a long time people heck no we're not then this is this is creative mode but you're still going to have to run those derelicts to get you your freaking stuff so there we go now the only thing left to say because we've done exosuit we've done starship and i've covered off freighter the last thing is a multi-tool and the thing with the multi-tool is I've I've only done the one multi-tool, but I've seen other people doing this. And because you've got like a swathe of freaking space in here, sometimes you're quite lucky you get them in the first three slots. But you can see here, my boosted module is actually in the fourth slot over here, which is, I don't think I've seen anybody else happen that have that happen. So I, I think people thought they were just going to appear in the first three or first two, but no, I've got one that's dropped into the fourth there. So it's quite possible that they could appear in the next two runs. Who knows? Anyhow, what am I going to boost here? So damage potential or scanner range? Well, we're going to do damage potential. So I'm going to try and get this welled up. So I'm going to be putting in the, the scatter blast let's put in the scatter blaster module there and i put in the upgrade e type one over here shell greaser and hopefully i'll be able to slot in an s class there an s class there and then bridge it there somehow i mean i could put that i could put that there to think thinking about it and hopefully get a little bit of a boost on those two okay so starship and let's get my old pulse spitter oh there we go quick transfer install put that there WD. put that there and look at that damage potential already that i think is nearly as high as my old damage potential in my old multi-tool that i used to have oh that's pulse spitter isn't it oh no that yeah i've gone and done it haven't i so let's put that back in oh fudging heck um oh it's pulse spitter not okay oh that's sodding heck i went and done the wrong one didn't i so i went and put in scatter blaster so let's get rid of the scatter blaster <laughs> and let's put in the pulse spitter that's what i wanted because this now sets sentinels on fire i used to really like the scatter blaster that was my favorite but now i think the actual pulse spitter is my new favorite multi-tool of choice when it comes to weapon attachments i do like this multi-tool as well like it's got a little crystal in the hilt it's pretty darn freaking sweet okay right so let's go back over to starship and let's put in those modules i accidentally scrapped one which is fun isn't it 
keep pressing the wrong buttons it's taking me a while to get used to all this sort of waypointy stuff to be honest but there you go look at that boosted that's pretty darn freaking nice okay and let's go again let's put that over there Chica pow now that's scarily close to what i was achieving with the scatter blaster and this is just a pulse spitter so i i it's freaking awesome that is freaking cool Okay, so I've got one other boosted module over there. I can't really touch that with a lot of the other stuff that I've got. I haven't got many upgrades for the multi-tool, really. I mean, I have got um, the plasma launcher that I could upgrade, or I could go with the bolt caster. Uh, let's go with the bolt caster. Let's put this around here. Let's, let's see if we can do something else. But I don't think we're going to see the damage potential go up any higher than what we've already seen there. Dum dum dum. Tish. Right, so let's uh, install bolt caster attachments. Now you do get quite a lot of bolt caster attachments that you can put on in anyway. So there you go, put that in. And the bolt caster, where are you? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Bolt caster, there we go. Chicka pow, chicka boom. And because it goes by your highest powered weapon, which is now my pulse spitter, I don't think we're going to see any improvements with the actual bolt caster. Is there one more bolt caster one? I'm sure they added in an extra one, didn't they? What's this one? Oh, the sp pulse spitter additional modules. Okay, well, let's get those in. Let's see if we can push up the pulse spitter even higher. Okay, cool. Let's stick that there. You know what? I might be able to... Hold on. Let's move these out of the way for a second. Because wouldn't that be cool if I could actually touch that adjacency little... Well, a little boosted one with the pulse spitter modules somehow. Okay, so we've got one more there. And is there one extra one for the pulse spitter? There is this one, which sets things on fire, I think. Hmm. Okay, we're pretty close. Why isn't that one lit up, though? Isn't that unusual? Let's uh, move that one to there. Okay, they're all interlinked now. It's a bit of a weird shape, but look at that freaking heck that's amazing so yeah it it it, it is interesting um but that's not a very conventional freaking layout but you know it's 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 kind of giving me something a little bit different to what i was used to so yeah there you go people i think that gives you an idea of boosted slots and what's achievable through boosted slots and how they actually boost your stats the only one you can't really see some visual head-up display is your exosuit which i hope they improve on um, i'm really liking the way that they are but what i would say the only drawback really is although i was extremely lucky to get all my ship ones in one little cluster as you see with the multi-tool it's sort of st staggered about the place it's procedural so it just it's just luck of the draw so a lot of people are probably going to be re-rolling and re-rolling or hunting for ships so when it comes to hunting for ships now not only are you going to be looking at the class and hopefully finding an s but when you actually go over to the vendor and speak to the actual vendor to try and get the ship you're probably going to be looking at the layout of the actual slots so here we go let's make an offer to oh no not an offer to trade make an offer on life form ship and you can see here i can't see any of the boosted slots at the moment none of them look purple to me and you won't actually see the slots on that one until you actually start upgrading it and putting some slots in so there is that as well oh he's taken off oh that's unusual. We've got a solar ship in a normal space station. All right, cool. That's a rarity. You usually you find these in pirate areas of space. Hello there, four-eyed friend. Okay, let's have a look at his ship. Okay, make an offer on life form shifty ship. So this one is an A class, and you can see there, you can see two slots are already visible in which ones are going to be upgradable. Now, they're nice and close together, and it's an A class. So I might negotiate the price on this and buy it, for example. Let's just buy that because I'm in creative mode, so I can. I mean, I can always scrap this later. And the nice thing is when you scrap ships, you are. I'm finding that I'm getting better modules than I had before. So let's head on over to here. And let's just upgrade it to an S class and we'll see where we get the additional slot. So actually, let me just bring up the screen so we can just see visually where this is at the moment. So here we go, Starship. So at the moment, oh, see, look, those two slots that we saw just a minute ago, for whatever reason, have bloody vanished now. And that's just inside of a normal menu. So where have they bloody gone? All right, so here we go. Let's just hit this up. I hope this doesn't come across too uh, normal. I hope they've managed to do this. But this is what I was finding earlier with my freighter, where they vanished. So if I go to upgrade Starship and I do it to an S-Class. There we go. Let's do it S-Class. Kaboom. And let's just put all the slots in. Let's just go put all the slots in. And I'm going to just... Um, I'm going to do a reload or, or to come right out of game and go back in again. 
so here we go apply augmentation because i'm in creative and i've also turned it off so you can just press to accept i am finding that it's a bit, bit finicky on still selecting the slots up here to move it up to technology first but it doesn't really matter because i'm in creative okay well that's not going as fast as it should it seems to be that there's some serious lag going on right now on my pc for whatever reason maybe it's downloading some updates but get all those in dum 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 you can probably hear me clicking away and you can probably hear that i'm pressing the button faster than what that little cube is moving yeah because there's something going on i don't know whether a freight has just warped in or something in the background and then i'm doing this at the same time or whether i've got something else going on on my pc but there we go now we're up on the techno oh look they've now appeared and there we are we've got four of them so it's decided to now just put them in but with my freighter like i say i had to save the game exit all the way out go back in again and then they appeared maybe i just didn't give it long enough <laughs> maybe these little tech slots take a little bit more techy than i thought but isn't that quite a gnarly layout so i could boost something over here by two and boost something over there by two and that could be an awesome little ship it's the wrong colors i'm probably going to get rid of it but it does look very star wars-esque doesn't it? it does look a bit rebel-esque from star wars so maybe i might keep it but this is just a throwaway creative save just for testing things over on the experimental branch in fact i think i'll go back to my old raza anyway but at least i've got a secondary ship but there we go people that's everything that i've got for you on boosted slots now this is just a taster from my throwaway slave save i will be doing a whole playthrough of this on my actual um normal playstation 5 save anyway so stay tuned for that because i've got all my favorite ships over there and i'm really hoping that we get a very good procedural generation on these sort of boosted slots otherwise otherwise yeah um, i might have to go do a bit of ship hunting <laughs> and find one with a better layout but you know what i've never really been a min max i've never been somebody that likes to squeeze every little mini stat out of every single little thing so i think i'll be okay anyways let's just make another little save i know it auto saves but i'm just in and out anyway because i'm used to doing that but yeah that's that's pretty much where i am with this people in the viewer verse so i hope that's been useful to you i really do um but yeah that's just a taster of the future so in the future we're going to be getting these boosted slots on all platforms and uh, that's what i'm really looking forward to after we've got these boosted slots on all platforms i think the waypoint update is going to be more of a complete update because at the moment waypoint the way it was released just really upset things with the way that we like to play and 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 experience the verse i think this update puts that right to a certain degree and uh yeah i'm going to be hitting up and doing another review of the waypoint update once this patch goes live and we've got all these boosted slots anyway i hope you look forward to that and i hope that's tantalized you enough to hit that subscribe button hit the like and all that sort of shenanigans if this has helped you out and until next time you've been freaking awesome take care for now goodbye goodbye and goodbye again